Well, uh, it's almost uh, the end of this sale period, and the custom insurgent uh, is at a pretty attractive price. Hi, this is Saucer Cats, and I'm going to purchase uh, an insurgent pickup, do an informal evaluation by just driving it around stock, and then I'll take it into the MOC and uh, customize it. That's it. That's what this video is about. What we're going to do, it's on sale. That's the only difference. All right. Uh, whoa. Let's pull out phone. All right. Right, there it is. All right, sold. All right, well. Let's wait for us to get an uh, let's get, wait to get a notification that it's arrived, and then I'll just simply call it in. Uh, so I'm going to stay close to my garage so I can put my bike back in there. I'm gonna hit that thing. Alright, that was actually very lucky. Hmm. All right, now we have a notification. Uh, let's just turn this vehicle in normal mode because I have no idea where I'm going. Where am I? Oh, I think I'm by the meth place. Then I'm just going to walk out. It's probably a better way to do this, but... Okay, so it's a Pegasus vehicle. I forgot about that. Uh, right? Because it's not even in... It's not made a personal vehicle yet, so... Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? 
Great. So it's available for pickup at our nearest location, madam. Hmm. It's actually really nearby. Can't run over there. <sighs> I guess that's what I'm gonna do. There it is. Okay, now that I see it, it doesn't look that far. It's cool that that bike is there. Oh well. Alright, very standard looking. Let's just exercise it. Alright, so what I was gonna say was, and I tried to do this before. Oh, now it's available. Alright, let's just get it. Um, so that it's available. Just drag this around. What weapons are available? Normal. AP, grenades, sticky bombs. All the stuff that you would expect. Maltov, even. Maybe that's normal. Okay. My favorite weapon is the machine pistol. Right. Did that blow out the window when I did that? Was it? I didn't hear any crack. Go first person. Ah, no. That's a window, and it just broke. Hmm. much. Uh, just drive it normal. Seems like a really good vehicle. Like, just seems to have no damage. Like, whatever. You can do whatever. Crash it. I'm sure if there were people hanging off the side, they would have been dislodged, but. Or sitting in the back. I think with a competent driver or with more experience, you could um, avoid that for the most part, I think.
front end of this vehicle doesn't seem to get stopped too much. I mean, it's not as good as the APC, obvious, for obvious reasons, but it's pretty good. As a reminder, holding triangle will allow you to get into this. No, no. That's our range here. Pretty good uh, range for the... As far as internal, this is... It's a circle that allows really good range at the front. Right over the nose. Of the vehicle. Um, you could probably sneak underneath it, I guess. From the sides. Back's a little bit more difficult, but still, you could do it. Vulnerable from the sides a little bit. Can't shoot that out of the way. That didn't take much to explode that vehicle. One. Seven to make it eight. It doesn't take much to make them uh, at least catch on fire. Hmm. Let's try to get these guys. to go to the MOC. I'm not going to put in get health or anything. I'm just going to go over there. Very good at running through any kind of police block. Let's try running this guy. Yeah. Very effective. Now, where did I put my MOC? any particular concern. Let's slow down and let him shoot. They are hitting me. I guess we're at the boring part that nobody likes to watch, where you actually upgrade and people, you know, they take so much time in here. I'm probably going to be no exception. Alright, so even uh, when you upgrade it, it changes it. A bit. I see, okay, so immediately no armor plating and light armor plating and then medium armor and it comes with light 
Something tells me it's not going to let me shoot out that, but I might be wrong. It's only 1,282. Can I shoot out of that? It's locked, though. And no armor plating. Hmm. Well, let's experiment. Let's not do anything. Let's give it best brakes. Our engine. That's you set. The stock horn is a little bit too loud for me. Lights. So too much to have that. But you can turn it off. That's what's actually, you know what? How much is a neon kit? Because you can just disable it. Actually, in the front would be cool because you could it would just add more visibility. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do the whole thing. Always Stop wanted to do that. that. I'm not going to choose the color yet. And say, why would you do that? I was thinking, like, as a beacon for helicopters, you could just turn it on temporarily. They could see your vehicle, know where to land. You know, sort of cooperative gameplay aspect. I'm not saying it's going to be useful all that often, but. own these. Gonna hold off. I, I'm probably gonna get them on. I'm just gonna hold off for right now. Fifty cal minigun. No, I don't want it. So it comes with these beefy tires. They look like the same height, just the side wall is different.
I can see it. I can't decide. I think it's fine the way it is. It's the craziest it sounds. Can't decide. Well, we know that the light armor plating does not prevent you from shooting at it, but Let's take it out of here, just to make sure. Yeah, I can still do that. Let's see. Oh. Nope, not the same. It's missing the... Um, explosive stuff that you can throw. So I think you need to turn it off all... Room for improvement. That would allow me to throw the bombs and stuff out of it. Tempting. That's you Let's try that. Sure you want to exit, yes. Can I do anything? Yes, I can still do the normal stuff. The guns. Except the... Um, the machine gunner now has some plating. View inside is miserable. Oh god. Well. vehicle feel. It feels faster. It accelerates a little bit faster. The question is, is it that much better to have that shield? Does that shield make any difference? It probably makes a little bit of difference for the gunner. But if you forego it, then you can throw explosives out of it as driver. And, well, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Because this vehicle can take a lot of explosions. Like, you could just... If you are a competent driver... Utilizing explosives are hardly going to danger your life, that's for sure. So, hmm. It's pretty tempting. I think I'm going to start with that. I'm going to take off the, uh... Oh, that's right there. I'm going to take off the armor plating and... And I'll get feedback from the people who sit in the uh, gunner position to how they feel about it without that little shield there. Yeah. 
cool vehicle. A cool vehicle. Hello. So even with the light armor plating, can't throw explosives. So we'll go now. We got the brakes, engine. Oh yeah. You can choose a color. Mint green, lime green. Or is it yellow? Can't actually tell. Crew is a green color. But Lime or crew? We go lime. So is it cheaper? I guess. I don't know. Do blue. Yeah. Too useful to not put them on. Mm -hmm. Land of the free. Do I have explosives back? Grenade, sticky bomb, yes. I don't know, do you really need this stuff if you have proximity mines on it? Yes, you do. Why not? I mean, you can't toss a proximity mine at a helicopter. cool with the blue. Alright, let's turn it off though. Uh, vehicles. Oh. Nice. Vehicle bomb bay control. Oh, I see. Um... I'm so dumb. I'm not... Right. Is it in here? Is it just on some vehicles? Oh, 
Maybe it's a, is it a remote function? All right. Is it gonna remember that? I just have my doubts. It shouldn't be negative. This is the very bright, bright. Is it another vehicle? No, it is this vehicle. It has a very bright. If it's the best off road vehicle, like it's obviously not, you know, the pinnacle of stability. Because uh, it's a little bit top heavy, but you know, that, that being said, like it has all the power you need, um, it has good clearance. And good off-road traction. I don't know if that's if it really does, but it seems to do okay. Maybe it's just due to the power. Hmm. Should try these roads. See how well it does. Just racing it. Take it through this windy little section here that's ripe for head on collisions. This is, I mean, this is so typical. How many times did I flip there? And he's okay, folks. I mean, it's a beast. But, like, oh, man. I guess it's better. It has more than enough power, so you just want to take. It's probably better, more efficient to go slow and rather than slam into things. I should pop out and cause a disturbance. Let me just um, get my mobile op center ready. Let's cause trouble.
Yep, I'm gonna die. And it's gonna get confiscated, so better hurry. Okay, this is showing that, well... Not invulnerable. Cops can and will shoot you. Let's get up to max health. And just like... is fine. Okay, they're telling me now. I can see it. Oop. So you can't, like, just mess around too much. Or they're gonna get you. Let's get to our MOC and then this madness. Uh, they've gone four stars. Well, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, this was meant to be a short video, but it turned into a long video. Uh, just sort of comparison of the stock features of the Custom Insurgent, buying process, and customization, uh, and drive test after. That's basically what this video was. Um, it went on way too long. But that's that. Uh, this is more of a let's play anyway, so thank you for joining. See you next time.